of the transportation development tonight. Saanich and View Royal are putting the brakes on construction of the new Craig Flower Bridge until 2013. Municipal engineers say the project has been put on hold because the timelines were simply too aggressive and were not achievable. Construction was set to begin on the 1st of June. The existing bridge is slated to be replaced by an, a, a bridge costing nearly $11 million, a three-lane bridge complete with bike lanes and wider sidewalks. The next announcement on this is expected to be made in August as to when construction is now going to begin. A Vancouver Island taxi driver is going to spend two years in prison for sexually assaulting a woman passenger. The assault happened in early November after Manwinder Singh picked a woman up, uh, a man and woman, from a party in Victoria. Singh was accused of taking the woman to his basement suite where he sexually assaulted her. The court says Singh abused his position of trust and the attack had a lasting effect on the victim. Well, the province says it's going to pump all of the money that was saved during last month's three-day strike by teachers back into the school system. Education Minister George Abbott says the majority of the $37 million that was saved will go toward the Learning Improvement Fund, which will help students with more support. The rest of the money will be spent by individual school boards. The BC Teachers Federation says the Learning Improvement Fund had far less money than required to keep pace with inflation. Last week, Abbott appointed Charles Jago as the mediator in the bitter ongoing dispute with teachers. RCMP and the Namo are searching for an escaped inmate, and they want him back after he slipped away from an escorted absence from the Regional Correctional Center. His name is Howard Osoup. He's 34 years old, about 6 feet tall, and 200 pounds. Police say he has an extensive criminal record, but most of his offenses are property crimes. He escaped Thursday night while he was on an escorted absence with a group of other inmates. At one point during the meeting, Osoup slipped away. Yeah, the RCMP were immediately notified. We started a search, but unfortunately we couldn't locate him. The one thing we're advising the public is to not approach him. These people are extremely volatile. He's made a conscious decision to leave a correctional facility. He was due out in September of this year. He was sentenced to uh, 547 days for three counts of break and enter and one count of mischief. So he could be, he could be dangerous. It's not worth contacting him. So call us, call 911, or if you don't want to give your name, call Crime Stoppers. A Canada-wide warrant has now been issued for Osoup's arrest. A Port McNeil man has been arrested on suspicion of possession and distribution of child pornography. Police say the 44-year-old was identified through a joint investigation involving Toronto Police and the RCMP. Investigators say there is no evidence that the victims were local children on Vancouver Island. A Japanese fishing vessel that has been adrift across the Pacific since the earthquake and tsunami in Japan last year has now changed course. The most recent tracking of the ship shows it's now Alaska-bound. The U.S. Coast Guard says the 54-meter vessel is heading north, still about 150 kilometers west of Haida Gwaii. Transport Canada says the vessel still poses a significant risk to shipping lanes in the area. The U.S. Coast Guard has dropped a data marker onto the ship to help track it. It is the largest piece of debris so far on the side of the Pacific since the tsunami hit.